Here we go, my party people. First of all, uh, Emily has $204.83. James has $189.49. Jeffrey has... Akiva, wh why did you just scream no in the chat box? What's going on, Akiva? What'd I do? What did I do? Right, let's, let's, let's not play around. This ain't a Dora the Explorer episode. I didn't read the question first. I started reading the problem, and I'm going to allow myself to get tricked by this information. Think about it like this, everybody. This is why I tell you not to start with the problem. So many people start doing this. Emily has... Oh, that's a decimal. I'm not really feeling too good about that. James has... Oh, man, I know that's a big number. That's five decimals. That's five... Oh, no. Oh, baby needs some milk. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, what's the problem about... Uh, okay, what's the cost of the vacation? What vacation? Um, a pool? What about a pool? Are they going to go swimming? And then this is how you really psych yourself out. Has anyone ever experienced something similar to what I just showed right there? Hey, Seth, text me on the side about that glitch. I'll fix it up right up for you, man. I got you. Okay, cool. And I'm glad you guys are being honest because remember, for me to be your ASVAB coach and help you succeed, we want to make sure that we're just being honest. So you don't want to put yourself in that position to fail, to get tricked by the numbers. What are you even scared about these numbers for? Do you know what you're supposed to do with them? Do you know if that's even important information? Sometimes there is extra information. Start with what you need to figure out. That way you know if that's important or not and what needs to be done with it as opposed to looking at it as just some scary decimal. Okay, let's get this done. So step one, read the question. What do you want? Here we go. It says, what is the cost of the vacation? All right, look, so if you like Chipotle burrito bowls, then you are going to love my ASVAB program. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182, and I'm gonna show you how to raise your score the right way. So you won't have to pay a dime, you won't have to put your credit card in, all you have to do is confirm your email and phone number, and you get access to all of my classes for a full week, all the recordings, over 500 available, over 20,000 practice problems with step-by-step -step solutions, and everything else that comes with the program. There is no reason why you shouldn't take advantage of this, because I'm here to show you that raising your score and getting the job you want is not a fantasy. It can be a reality if you're willing to work hard. So go ahead, sign up now, and I'll see you there. Everybody. Is it okay to say from this red highlight that no matter what, at the end of the day, what we want to figure out is the amount of money that this vacation is worth? Is that true? Right, step number one, we're gonna be saying, hey, vacation equals some money, blank, right? This equals some money. Okay, sounds good. So at the very least, no matter what, at the beginning of the problem, you know what you're supposed to be finding out. Now that you know where you're supposed to be looking for, like what direction, let's try to aim. Let's see what information we have now, now that we at least know where we're generally supposed to be going. Here we go. Here's where we're going to write down our information. What do we have? So over here, let's go. So we're talking about a vacation. And really what I would like to kind of emphasize with y'all is there's two ways to go about this. Some people like to write all of the numbers that they see from start to finish, and other people like to go ahead and play off of the keyword. Everyone, what's the keyword that I'm gonna be searching for in the problem right now? What's the keyword I'm gonna be searching for based off of the question? Not cost, vacation. That's the one word. That's the one word I wrote down, vacation. So some people are just gonna go from the very beginning, just write every single number down, write its meaning. But some people do keyword-based, basically um, you, you call it just skimming. So keyword-based skimming is a very nice strategy to employ because it's like spoon feeding yourself the information little by little. I only care about the vacation. Oh, if that's not giving it to me directly, then I'll look for the other pieces that connect to it. So watch this. Emily has this, James has that, Jeffrey has that, I don't care. They like to pull their money together, they go on a vacation. Okay, there it is. So they're gonna pull their money together to go on a vacation, but only have one half of the amount that they need. Okay, boom. So this is a strategy that a lot of people like to employ. Again, they go off of the keywords, because you're looking for a vacation, and my only question is, 
how am I going to get there? And everybody, do you agree with me if I say that in number two, the information that I'm writing down, I can write, they only have half of the vacation. Is that fair to say? Is that a truthful statement that we can understand? So now that we have an agreement here, and I'm gonna wait a couple more moments because I know some people have somewhat of a time delay, so I'll give you a moment there. But now that we know this one piece of information, everybody, we know how to solve this problem. And if you didn't know that, don't worry, just put your pencil down for a moment and kind of follow along in terms of the logic that I'm about to use. Everyone, is it true that because we know that they, as in the friends here that we're talking about, Emily, James, and Jeffrey, is it true that because we know that they only have half of the vacation, if we knew how much they had together, we could find out how much the vacation is? Is it true that if we knew how much they have, we can get to the vacation because of the relationship here, half? There's a relationship here. There's a numerical relationship. So if I have the if I have how much they have, I can get to the vacation. How we're gonna get there? We're gonna talk about that in a moment. I gotta make sure you know how to use your math the right way for the keywords. But that's one way to deal with it. Here's another way, where it's just writing down the information. This is something that a lot of other people like to do. They kind of just skim through the problem and just make sure to write down everything that's important. So right here, if it has a number on it, write down the number and the meaning. Emily right there. James right there, Jeffrey right there. So here we go. Emily, I'm gonna write her down, 204.83. Let me just scroll down just a little bit there. Then we have ourselves James, 189, 49. And then we have ourselves Jeffrey, And Jeffrey has 2, 21, 18. Okay, great. Boom. So, my party people, we're here. And so, here's what we know. We know that we have these three friends. They're trying to go on a vacation. They don't have enough. They actually only have half of what they need. So, everybody, to figure out the cost of the vacation, if what they have right now is only half, what do we need to do to what they have to get to the vacation? What do we need to do? Be specific. If you say add, add what? If you say multiply, multiply what? Be specific, be specific, be specific. Give it your best shot. Again, I'm not here grading you for the ads. I'm not your grader. I'm just here to help you get better here. Come on. So again, my question was, if the vacation, if what they have is only half of that vacation, what do we need to do to what they have to get to the vacation? There, now we're trying to get some more diverse answers. All right. Good, 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 good. So let's talk about this here, my party people. And if you're a little late, don't worry. We've got plenty of practice to go. So here's a nice little example that I can give you, everybody, to make sure that this makes sense for all parties involved. So let me use an example. My example is going to be using uh, Whitney. So Whitney, welcome into class. It's okay that you're late, no worries. Um, but Whitney, let me just make a, 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 let's use you for a nice example. So Whitney, let's say in my pocket, I have $10, but I only have half of what you have. Whitney, what do I need to do to my money to make it the same as your money? If I have $10 and I have half of what you have, what do I do to my money to get to your money? What do I need to do? And by what amount? What operation and by what amount? So Dominic says multiply by two. Multiply by two, multiply by two, multiply by two, and that is correct. Because if you think about the way that I said it, I am halfway to you. So that means if you reverse the logic, I have twice as much to go. So double it. 
to get to the final amount. If, I, if I'm halfway there, I double what I have to get there. So we have to be able to read these stories and understand which way it's being read to know how to get from one point to the other. In this case, to go from they to the vacation, you need to times two to get to the vacation. And so let's find out what they have together here. This can be done with quick addition, mental math, whichever way you want to employ. I'm going to go through it the regular way. I'm going to line up my decimals and I'm going to go through it. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. We're gonna say three plus four plus eight, or excuse me, three plus nine plus eight, thank you. That's 12, 20 right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and add these up. 10, 14, 15. You have yourself that five, carry the one. Then from there, four plus one is five, plus nine is 14, plus one is 15. Then we just keep adding one, nine, 11. One more time, three, four, six. Boom. So we have 615, 50. We have that for the students or the three kids together. So again, remember everybody, what we just said in this problem was that, hey, the amount that they have together, that's only half of what they need. So if they're halfway there with $615.50, everybody hit me, what do we do to that 615.50 to get the final answer? I saw a lot of y'all already uh, said the answer there. I'll say it again. Yeah, we have to multiply by two because again, they only have half of what they need. They need the full amount. So if they're only half the way full or halfway there, double it. To get from 50% to 100%, you times by two. So let's get there, multiply by two, and we'll do that right over here. Boom. And everybody, when multiplying by a decimal, just ignore the decimals, and then we bring them back at the end. So let's get through it right here. Zero, zero times two is zero. Five times two is 10. Five times two is 10, carry the one is 11. 1 times 2 is 2, carry the 1 is 3, and then 6 times 2 is 12. So we used up two decimal places right here, so we'll bring 2 back, and we have 1,231 total dollars. That's the cost of the vacation for these three folks together. And we have that as answer choice A. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.